Here are 10 reasons why the US government should ban TikTok right now. A lot of these reasons you may have thought of and some of these you may have never heard. Yeah, this is a ongoing issue. Let us run show choose video. A show here, as you may have heard, Congress passed a bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban TikTok in the United States. This is a ban, a ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your vote. Many who sponsored the bill admit a TikTok ban is the ultimate goal. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident and we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. Boom! As we can see now, Andrew, it's inches away. Some people say a year away from potentially being banned off the face of the earth. So we came up with 10 reasons why they should ban TikTok. I'm not saying I fully agree with these reasons. I'm just saying these are the reasons out there legitimately. Number one, Andrew, China has been labeled a foreign adversary. So my whole thing is like this. I don't think China is fully just a foreign adversary, but I'm just saying in the government, enough high level people have said it. Why don't they just follow through on what they say? Right, you're just saying that if the government has called it a foreign adversary, then if it's an app that is roundabout owned by the Chinese government or under the surveillance of the Chinese government, then it should be banned due to the association and the connection. Right. I'm looking at this like a juror in a trial, not what I feel, but I'm Wait, just saying- I'm, You're not I, trying I, to be anti-Chinese as yeah, a Chinese I'm, man. Basically, I'm just operating off of like what I see as a casual observer. Right. But what's the truth behind? Uh, here's the truth. In actuality, China is actually a frenemy of the U.S. It's a, a lot more like a push-pull dance. You know, some people would say this is like a Wing Chun drill where you're, you know, trying to gain positioning or potentially grappling a Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So here's the truth, Andrew. In this comment, this guy said it. The U.S. wants to stay in power, but they also want the cheap labor and goods from China, but they don't want China to gain too much power from providing the cheap labor and cheap goods. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. That is the push and the pull behind this geopolitical dance mm. waltz salsa I, potentially I, more aggressive than that before the end of this video guys i do actually have an idea that tiktok could do that would mean that that keeps all its content but changes ownership anyways guys the second reason that they should ban tiktok is because tiktok content is useless and it is mostly comprised of hot girls or guys saying random things being quirky or just saying things that have been said a trillion times before but with a hot face david did you come up with this reason or is this from the comment section it's from the comment section too i mean i got comments to corroborate all of these i'll say this the algorithm shows you what you want to see but i'll say this most people and this, Andrew, the research has been done to show this. Most people just follow hot people when they're given the optionality. Most people, I'm not saying everybody on earth, the majority of people choose to follow hot people. Yeah, I do think the TikTok algorithm is supercharged. I do think they're really good at showing you new stuff from different people. They're really good at building up influencers. I heard that Hot influence. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, especially, there's all different types of people on TikTok. So even if just 10,000 people in the Philippines finds you super attractive, that's gonna probably boost you through the algorithm so that, you know, you get shown in America and Australia as well. Number three, here's the third reason. China bans a lot of American apps such as Google, Facebook products, Instagram. So why can't America ban Chinese apps? Mm, the classic, they did it, so why can't we? Right, so here's the truth. I think that this is a pretty fair tit for tat, eye for an eye situation, especially for two people that are considered rivals. However, there is a question, should the US hold itself to a different standard than China does? That's mm -hmm. a good question, right? Because they run their systems extremely differently internally. Point number four, this is the fourth reason why America should ban TikTok. A lot of content on TikTok is considered, to use a modern term, internet brain rot. Mm. So basically, it potentially people say there's no fact checking mechanisms, it's misinformation, it's divisive, et cetera, et cetera. So here's the truth, Andrew. TikTok is good and bad because you hear a lot of hot takes from a lot of individual civilians you would never get to see amplified. However, there's probably a lot of junk within it, and the average human is very biased towards their perspective or their skin in the game. Right, and of course, I think that a lot of people who'd use TikTok would defend themselves saying that it's very democratic. It's very like for the people, almost anybody can get their voice out there, which there are pros and cons to that. Everybody having a voice is good, but also not everybody should have a voice. I will say this, a lot of times, oftentimes, those voices go against 
the people in power. The people with the power to ban TikTok, most content on TikTok is criticizing them. Right. If you had to say overwhelmingly, right? Point number five, the content information data could be used against Americans if eventually it finds its ways into its hands of Chinese servers. So basically, this is what I'm saying is, it is interesting. I can buy this in the sense of like, you don't want the TikTok metadata to go to Beijing, right? This is what America is fearing. But I'm saying, my question is, what are they going to find? I feel like what China, if they were to steal the metadata <clears throat> from TikTok, they would find that what they pretty much believe about America is already happening. Its decline is confirmed by the metadata. And then it's funny, I guess, to my friends who they say, well, I'd rather have America, American companies have all my data, like Meta and Google. I'd rather have them spy on me than the Chinese government. That is true. That, I mean, that's what a lot of people feel because American companies essentially do the same thing, except right. because it's American company, you generally think it's harmless. I guess it's okay if American companies gather my data and then package it and sell it to the Chinese. I'd be more okay with that. At least I know, you know, there's some exchange of money with the Americans. Point number six, the algorithm could push moral decay into the USA. This is a very common comment. I do think I agree with this. TikTok could be used to push moral decay into the U.S., but it is because the U.S. is very profit-driven. And if moral decay is considered the content, like Sexy Red, that is profitable in America, the way the system is set up, America allows any type of content, even content that is very degenerate, to make a lot of money. Yeah, because I think to blame it all on TikTok for this is kind of ridiculous when you can blame the music companies or the movies or whatever it is. You could blame all these other companies American for Disney. moral decay. Why don't you blame them? What about consumer taste buds too? Right. Blame capitalism for it. Point number seven. This is the seventh reason why America should ban TikTok. TikTok is making China richer and the USA poor. Because really? Of How is TikTok responsible for this? No, because ultimately the profits are being repatriated to ByteDance and ByteDance in Singapore repatriate the profits to ByteDance Beijing. There's less watch time going to Facebook or Microsoft owned properties of social media. So less, I guess, American companies are getting the social media money. Now, here's the truth. I can see this being the best argument. And Andrew, a lot of people are speculating that it's a lot more about this than all this other like political, like moral decay stuff. Oh. Basically, it's about maintaining money within borders. Uh. So basically in China, they banned a lot of Google and other things like that. Yes, I do think partially due to foreign influence in the mind, but a lot of it was because they wanted to develop their own domestic industries. For me, listen guys, I'm neutral. I can see both sides. I think that this is a more valid way to say it that a lot of people don't want to position it this way, so they need to position it the moralistic way. Mm. Point number eight, Andrew, like this is the eighth reason. America as a geopolitical infrastructure is clearly against TikTok. So if you tr do trust the American larger deep state or permanent state apparatus, then shouldn't you want what the deep state wants as an American? I'm saying, if this is clearly what the deep state or the permanent state that's in, whether the State Department or this or that or these trade organizations deep within the American government that a lot of people, you know, never peel back the layers to see or maybe it's shadowy or whatever, if that's what they want, do you think if, if we're Americans and we trust what they want for Americans, then shouldn't Americans support the ban? So you're just saying if you trust the U.S. government, then you should support the ban. I think the issue is that a lot of people don't want to trust the U.S. government. They don't think that the U.S. government has our, as the people, best interests in mind. And that is where the trust in society is falling apart. But we, we, we led you here over all those past decades. Why are you giving up on us now? Why are you giving up on us now, populace? Number nine. TikTok makes kids stuck on their phones way too much, regardless of whether the content is evil or not evil. It just is wasting kids' times. Mm. This is just a uh, very popular sort of comment that's sort of removing themselves from all this like conspiracy theory stuff. Just my kids spends too much darn time on it. I'll say this. They got the best algo in the world for providing dopamine. If you don't want your kids to have dopamine, I hope you take your kids off TikTok, stop eating Pop-Tarts, and give them all just good stuff to eat, like vegetables and a uh, paleo diet. Got it. Put them on a content paleo diet, as well as a real life paleo diet. Number 10, this is the final reason. TikTok makes people feel like they did something with their life, 
or impacted an issue positively, but it didn't do a damn thing. Oh, 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 oh. So basically people were saying that TikTok serves a distraction from the real work that needs to be done IRL. Mm. What do you think of this, Andrew? Is this a good reason, a bad reason? I can't say that this is wrong. Uh, this is not one of those technical reasons. I mean, listen, if a TikTok video gets like a million views, then I don't know. It touched on somebody, you know? I mean, we have some TikTok videos that got like 13 million views. So hopefully, I don't know if that changed people's minds. But anyways, I mean, ultimately, I think some of these reasons are valid, but because I just think that if the American government really wants to do it, they're probably going to do it. Like, when was the last time, in a weird way, David, that the U.S. government really did what the people wanted? But actually, some people out there do want TikTok banned. Some citizens, and obviously there's a lot of younger people who are like, no, 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 no. That's like against freedom of speech. It's against freedom of expression. It's a privately owned app. I don't know. I mean, you, listen, the government can ban apps for all different types of reasons. They can ban all types of things. I, I mean, they're currently banning a lot of food coloring that is in foods right, right. now. Right? Remember when they banned vapes, but it's not because vapes are worse than cigarettes. It was because the cigarette lobby lobbied the government to kill vapes. Right. I give it a 35% chance of being banned. I think that ByteDance is not going to sell. I do think that them forcing Chinese companies to sell for pennies on the dollar to an American entity or holding company is very unlikely because I don't think China is going to want to go for it. Right. But I do think that there are some legitimate reasons if people want to focus on the legitimate reasons. Probably the most legitimate reason is they ban our apps. We feel the right to ban some of their apps. Uh -huh. I think that that, to me, is the most logical. All this other stuff about like pushing moral decay and teaching kids how to like rob Kias or whatever, like that is just a function of like literally consumer behavior. Yeah, do you think that there's a way, and obviously I'm not a lawyer and all this, but there's probably a way that like TikTok can change the branding, shift ownership even further away from the Chinese government. But not be sold to it. Somehow American. cut it out. And then keep the content, but like re like go under a different company or something. Like, can a company, can another Chinese, not Chinese owned, but like Asian owned, maybe like Singapore or Hong Kong owned, or that's Chinese owned, but like Taiwanese company buy all the like and then transfer the content over or something like that? I don't know if that's gonna work. They should allow an Asian American to buy it. I feel like to force it to a, to a sale to, to white people is crazy. I think, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Those are the 10 reasons. For me, if, listen, guys, if they really want to do it, I'm not big on TikTok. I don't care. But I'm just asking people to use their brains, think about things. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.